you take out your product, your nose, and you just gotta squeeze it. Squirting warm salt water up your nose might not be something you see every day, but that may change. Some doctors are recommending it to their patients, especially during allergy season. It's been around for centuries, and it's really the first line defense for colds, for allergies, for sinusitis. We recommend it. It really does very well, clearing mucus, clearing out the bacteria, the viruses, making it easier to breathe, so we definitely recommend it. It's called nasal washing or nasal irrigation. Dr. Hannah Solomon became such a believer that she developed and now markets a kit with an angled bottle and individual salt packets. But just how is it different from blowing your nose? Because blowing only removes the thin secretions. If anybody's ever had a very thick, stuffy nose, we've all experienced, you cannot move those hardened secretions. And this thins the secretions so you can blow. So when you wash the nose, it flushes along the nasal floor, drawing the sinus contents, washing the inner ear, and all the debris exits the opposite nostril. Wash twice a day for congestion, says Dr. Hanna, and up to three times a day for infection. And another benefit of nasal washing, it just might reduce the need for other medications. I've seen a huge difference in families coming in just swearing by this treatment method. Definitely we see less antibiotic use with uh, frequent nasal irrigation. You know, as I can say, it's easy to do at home. You don't need a prescription for it. And people within 15 to 20 minutes after doing it feel much better. They can breathe free. They haven't been able to breathe free all allergy se season. Even with the medicines that they're using, they haven't been able to breathe free. They do this nasal washing and they're really hooked on it.